In tonight's Whatever Happened To segment, new developments in the case of an elite military operator accused of killing a Taliban bomb maker. You saw his declaration or confession right here on Special Report. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin has our update tonight from the Pentagon. The U.S. Army has charged with alleged murder a once decorated Green Beret who received a Silver Star for Valor in Afghanistan, but later admitted to killing a detainee during an interview with Fox News' Brett Baer in October 2016. Did you kill the Taliban bomb maker? Yes. Major Matthew Goldstein was a U.S. Special Forces soldier attached to a Marine unit that faced heavy fighting in the battle for Marja in February 2010. He later acknowledged during a polygraph when applying for a job at the CIA that he had killed an alleged Taliban member who they suspected of planting a bomb that killed two Marines, Sergeant Jeremy McQuarrie and Lance Corporal Larry Johnson. You willingly offered up these details right. at the CIA, right? That's correct. And that's where it all started. Pretty much. According to a senior defense official, Goldstein told the CIA he killed the Afghan off base, placed his body into a pit and burned it. But reached by telephone, Goldstein told Fox News, quote, I made a lawful engagement of a known enemy combatant on the battlefield. He says the rules of engagement were so strict at the time that they were only allowed to detain and process Afghans for drug crimes. Goldstein says following the suspected Afghan bomb maker's release, he tracked him down and killed him. Goldstein said he believed that letting go of the insurgent meant the man could later target Afghans who were helping U.S. troops. You could construe it as a law enforcement mindset. There's limits on how long you can hold guys. So we would pull these guys out. We'd say, clearly, these are enemy combatants. These are Taliban. These are bad dudes. We'd pull them out, but we wouldn't have any place to hold them. So eventually, we'd let them back, and they would cause terror to the community again. A senior U.S. defense official confirmed to Fox News the Army's Criminal Investigation Command reopened the investigation based on new evidence that includes the Green Beret's public statements. The Defense Department's Inspector General investigated the Army's original handling of the case, which found not enough evidence to prosecute Goldstein after a six-day hearing. California Congressman Duncan Hunter, a former Marine who served in Iraq, has championed Goldstein's case. He wrote the following letter to Army Chief General Mark Milley, quote, Goldstein is an American hero, a true warrior, in fact. Why the Army is hell-bent on destroying a combat hero's career is truly astonishing. I'm confident that Army CID has more important things to do than investigate Goldstein again, and you both have the ability to fix this stupidity. What is it like going from war hero to accused war criminal? Are you angry? No. It has been incredibly painful um, very, and very difficult. Over the last year of these years, everyone who served with me stood by me. And so it's kind of it's over and yeah, it's time to move on. on. Sources tell me that when Goldstein admitted killing a man in cold blood on television, the Army investigators had no choice but to reopen the case. Major Goldstein claims that strict rules of engagement forced him to release the alleged Taliban bomb maker, who had been fingered by an Afghan informant, and that he had no choice to act as he did. But those to whom I have spoken here at the Pentagon say he did have a choice, and now Major Matthew Goldstein has been charged with premeditated murder and could face the death penalty. Brett. Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.